Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Mackenzie. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and stick around. I post a long week of my life sharing real raw post-grad feelings and just my day-to-day -day routine as a content creator full-time. I've been in St. Petersburg, Florida, as you guys know, for about five weeks now, and this is actually our last week. We check out of here Sunday morning and begin our two-week road trip. If you guys need a little refresher, we are going to Savannah, Charleston, Nashville, and Charlotte. I'm super excited. It's gonna be a lot of fun, but I am extremely sad to say goodbye to this place. I have loved, loved, loved St. Pete, Florida more than I ever imagined, and I feel more torn than ever now on whether or not I should be, you know, settling down in California for a little or Florida buying a house, renting, like so many things that my mind is just going 100 miles a minute. Um, so who knows what will be next for me, but as of right now, I've got a summer full of travels ahead, so just taking it one month at a time right now, but yeah, it is Monday morning. We had a severe bender weekend. Sam's college best friend, Liam, came to visit us. He lives on the other side of Florida, and he just came to stay with us for a few days, and her other friend, Erin, has been in a few videos, and he lives here, so all of us have been hanging out kind of all weekend we hit the bars we went out in st pete we went out in tampa we went out on the beach um we've done like everything so today i need to get my life in order we're going to be doing a lot today and this week i have a lot of content creation to get done before we hit the road so that's what's up um i am about to head on my hot girl walk though to kick start the day it's one of my favorite things about living here and just like being more settled as opposed to traveling is just getting my physical activity in every single day um my main goal is to walk 10,000 steps every day and i've been toning up a bit which has been nice um, but guys i got some stuff sent to me by adidas and i'm super 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 excited about this i will leave links to everything down below they were having an amazing sale literally like everything was an additional 40 percent off if you just put your email in and i was like oh my gosh of course so I got this workout set that I have on right now. It's olive green, like longer sports bra. I love these high neck ones. They have a lot of support. And then I just got the leggings to go with, you know, me and my love for matching sets. Um, the leggings come right down to the ankles and they're super cute. And then I got four pairs of sneakers and I'm just, I'm so happy. So thank you, Adidas. Um, I'm going to show you guys what I got and then we're going to pick out a pair to wear on my hot girl walk this morning. They are like a charcoal gray with light periwinkle blue along the soles and along the tongue. And they've got that little bit of peach right here. I thought these were super cute. I have a ton of colors, so that's why I really wanted these. These are the Ultra Bounce and I love, love, love light pink. They're a little bit chunkier of a sole and very comfy i ended up getting these in a size seven i usually go down a size in my adidas sneakers just because they tend to run a little bit big okay the sneakers that i'm most excited for are these white ones right here they've got a super 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 thick sole but i love that you don't have any white like workout sneakers here which is why i got these and i'm obsessed gonna be so cute these are called the zn chill and then i got these sneakers which i didn't realize these are golf sneakers and they are are spikeless golf sneakers so you can wear them like on a day-to-day -day basis I could wear them walking but you can also wear them on the golf course which is kind of fun um, I'm not a huge golfer but you guys know in the summer I love to go to the range and hit golf balls with Connor and Chase so I got these they're like a little bit lighter like kind of more of a peachy and then they've got that stripe of green which I really like and then this is what the bottom looks like as you can see they're a little bit different love 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 I think today I'm gonna wear the chunker white ones though so Let's put those on and let's get hot girl walking. Before I go on this walk, I need to throw in a load of laundry trying to stay on top of things. All right, let's hit it, ladies and gents. 
So I mentioned a few vlogs ago that my best friend from home, Kylie, uh, is moving to St. Pete and she's actually like a half a mile from her house. She just got here on Saturday and so we are meeting up for our little morning walk. We're not gonna go on the beach today. I wanted to show her around Passy Girl since I don't think she's seen it yet. So we'll be walking on the street today. Guys, look who's in Florida. Kylie's gonna be here till May of next year, guys. How Yay. epic is that? I'm so excited. She's looking for a teaching job here, so if any of you guys have uh, recommendations of good schools, let us know. But I just gave her the lay of the land in Passa Girl, and we've been walking since uh, I left the house at 9 and it's 10.41, so even though we only live 10 minutes away from each other of a walk, it's like literally <laughs> less than a mile. I just like, we have to drive back because I'm sweating so bad. <laughs> I just dropped Kylie back off at her house. I got a little tour of her house. I gave her a little tour of this place. We walked like three and a half miles. So good start to the day. And I just came home and hopped in the shower and did my makeup. I have been exclusively using this dry bar small round brush and I'm loving it. I didn't end up bringing our blow dryer here, but I've been using that brush to like dry it and style it and I like it. Gives my hair just a little bit of flip along the bottom. Some days I make it curlier than others. Literally haven't used any other hot tools on it since we've been here. So pretty much every time that you see me with my hair done, it's been with that. So I'll leave that linked down below. It's awesome. And I usually use this beforehand, the prep rally spray. Um, super good. So time to make today's to-do list. It's going to be a long one. Okay, today is gonna be an intense work day, as you can tell. We've got a lot, a lot, a lot of TikToks and Reels that need to be done, and then pretty much with every TikTok and Reel I do, I also take some mirror pictures in those. Um, that way I can easily link things to my Like to Know It and to my website for you guys to shop, so that's the first chunk of today. I do really wanna get a blog post up today, and then I have a bunch of TikToks and Reels to put together and submit. Okay, the girls are headed to a coffee shop to get work done while I tackle the filming today. I have a dress collaboration coming up on TikTok, so I have that, and they also sent me some hokas, and I'm literally so excited I could cry. So TikTok and photos for this. I got some stuff from Vici for my upcoming trip to Nashville, so TikTok and mirror photos for that. I have a bunch of stuff from Aerie. I have a like monthly partnership with them going on for three months, which is so exciting. If you know me, you know that Aerie is like literally my favorite store to shop from. So TikTok and Instagram posts for those. And then a pretty little thing is sent over some stuff for my Nashville trip. Plus I got this orange bag. So TikTok and mirror photos for these. And then I got those really, really cute retro swimsuits from 93 Play Street. I have a YouTube video and some mirror photos to take for these. So going to be back to back to back. Then I also got some shoes last week from Dolce Vita and Franca Sarto, some new arrivals. These things were all just gifted. Um, nothing is paid. They basically just send over some new arrivals and allow me free reign to style in whatever type of way I would like to. And I'm going to be bringing these all on my upcoming trips. So I want to film a quick little TikTok with these as well but super cute let's get rolling ladies it is 1207 already not sure where the day is going but we're about to tackle this, this. airy hat is the cutest hat I've literally ever seen I mean like are you serious I'll leave it linked down below with the seashells I'm obsessed Okay, I'm in the middle of filming my TikTok for Vici, and I want to talk a little bit about this pearl top. I'm thinking about wearing this for my birthday. I am turning 22 while we are in Nashville. I got us a big Airbnb, and Sam and Jules are going to be with me. Some of my college friends are going to come down, and then Madison, my twin sister, and some of her college friends are coming too, so there will be like 10 of us in an Airbnb, and then my parents are also coming, and they are staying in a hotel like down the road, and I'm super pumped um, to just kind of have everyone I love all in one spot for my birthday. Nashville is like one of my favorite places ever and it's been uh, a couple years since I've been. I haven't been since I've been 21 so I'm really excited to be able to legally drink and hang out. Um, so I'm thinking this top. I got this pearl top and I had it on with like a black um, triangle bralette underneath but then I was like I don't know maybe I should do nude and just like have it blend in a little bit. 
I'm not entirely sure if any of you guys have worn one of these types of tops. Let me know. Super cute though. It's from uh, Vici and I'm obsessed. I just wanted to show you. Anyways, oh, these are the new boots that I got from Dolce Vita too. I have white boots from Jeffrey Campbell. I love them. They were super expensive um, and they're very, very comfortable, but I don't have them here with me and Dolce Vita offered to send me their newest style, which is a little bit taller, they're like knee highs, and I really like this height on me, so. One o'clock, I am almost halfway through and I've never craved a peanut butter and jelly ever in my life, but um, today I really was, so that's what I'm eating right now. Super random. <laughs> but I'm like bang, bang, banging the stuff out that aren't even have time to cook, so I'm kind of glad that I was craving this. This urban dress, so cute for Charleston, and it has pockets. Okay, guys, I just finished up a little sustainable swimwear haul with the stuff from 93 Playstory. I'm so obsessed with these retro suits. Sam and Jules went to Grove, which is the coffee shop that we really like down the street. That way, I could have the house to myself and kind of knock out some of this filming. It is 3.30 right now, so I've been going strong and just wrapped up everything that I needed to do. And I'm hoping that when Jules gets back later this evening, she'll want to shoot these two one pieces that match together. So, fingers crossed. All right, let's take a look at the to-do list. There's so much that I'm getting to check off, and this is the best feeling ever. My Revolve stuff didn't end up coming, so I'm just crossing that off, but I didn't actually do that today. Shoe picks, YouTube. Woo! I brought my laundry in, but I haven't folded it yet. <laughs> All right. Horse, like right as I just checked those things off, another package was delivered. Um, and it is my stuff from Cupshe. Every single month I get a handful of suits from them. Sometimes I do stuff on YouTube, sometimes I do stuff on Instagram, TikTok, it kind of just depends. Um, I've been working with them for several years. I love cup sheet swimsuits. My hair looks so good today. I like really killed it with the dry bar brush today. I also feel like my hair has grown quite a bit in the last month and I think part of that is that I haven't necessarily been washing it as much because I've been going to the beach so much. I kind of have just been rinsing it at night and then wearing it up. So anyways, okay, let's see what I got. Good thing I didn't put everything away yet because I might as well just film this today so that I don't have to get ready again. Um, all right, let's see, let's see. I'm excited for this stuff. I love cup sheet. Oh my God, how many black swimsuits do I get? <laughs> Lately, I feel like I've been working with so many brands that I love and I'm like really proud to work with and that's such an awesome feeling. So, okay, here's what I got. Black one piece, crisscrosses along the back, super cute. I have this swimsuit in blue and I love it. It's one of my favorites, it's got Pink bottoms, pink top, super cute. And then I got this little zebra one. Not usually a zebra girl, but something about this style I just thought was really cute. And then I got another black one piece. This one like crisscrosses around the neck. Black string bikini. This one's just like a typical triangle. I got this cute little top to tuck around the front. Hey guys, it's been a little bit. I just posted my Instagram picture and my reel and a bunch of Instagram stories and my TikTok for the day. And now I am finally getting around to folding up my laundry. Okay, I'm in the middle of making dinner. 
We've got chicken going with a bunch of lemon pepper and I just squeezed half of a lemon on it. We've got rice going, roasted potatoes in the oven. And then I'm also gonna do some green beans. We also had strawberries that needed to be in, so just cut up a bunch of those. Okay, dinner time. It looks a lot better than it's gonna taste. Um, unfortunately, everything was just like not cooking at the right time today. We were low on lemon pepper. The rice like might be overdone. I don't know. You know, just not every day can be a win. <laughs> dinner, dinner was better than I thought it would be actually. I put the rice on with like a cup more water in it for like two minutes and it revived it a little bit, which was good. Um, and now I am dressed in my little pink one piece and Sam has on the blue one. Jules decided she didn't want to do it. So Sam, Sam has been volunteered as tribute. And here she is. Sam goes, I literally just got home from a workout class and Mackenzie's like, eat your vegetables and put this on. <laughs> and she goes, like, I'm just like functioning in autopilot. And I'm like, yeah, basically. <laughs> if, if I said jump, Sam would be like, all right, fine, how high? <laughs> we actually are locals at the wings. Like, they are back. Like, we come every week. Like today we've decided that we need uh, pink sweatshirts, St. Petersburg sweatshirts because like we're all getting really emotional and have like cried about leaving here. So we're like maybe if we get pink sweatshirts like, uh, guys they restocked. Oh my god, they better have the dog. Oh my god, if they have the dog shirt I'm gonna cry. This one's an X. This one's a single X sweatshirt. I wanna try on the two. Okay. How many of these? This one's like kinda cute. <laughs> This one's like not soft on the inside. Mm. Is this the same brand? Is it, what about these ones? How does it look? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe mine's just found that much softer because I've just worn it that much. Oh, how much Feel how much it's softer it is on the inside. Those ones are 38 a piece. 38, my god. But three rock <laughs> show this picture to uh, Jules from three weeks, three months ago, who was like, I'll literally never be a Florida girl. And she goes, we're going to ice and cream and we're getting ice cream. And I'm wearing my new sweatshirt there. Like, okay. I don't know who looks at him anymore. Comment, do you guys think Jules is more fun here or in California? You seem to be very opinionated about me. What do you think about Jules? <laughs> There was literally two people at Ice and Cream, our favorite ice cream shop, and she goes, are you Salva and McKenz? Like, what are the odds of that? I'm meeting people left and right here these days, which is exciting. If you ever see us, come say hi. I feel like okay. part of, I feel like part of why we've, I've been stopped more frequently recently is because, like, if I saw someone that I thought looked like me and I wasn't quite sure, I don't know if I would say, like, hi. But if you follow me, then you know for a fact what Sam and Jules also look like. And if you <laughs> see me and then you see them, then it's like, okay, that's like a dead giveaway, you know? <laughs> Five more days of this. I'm so in love. My new hoka is breaking them in. My usual route all the way to the end and back. My dress and shoes match so perfect today. Okay, I'm back from my walk and I'm making some eggies. That was such a horrible crack, wow. Breakfast, breakfast! I have literally like 15 eggs and half a loaf of bread and a whole pound of bacon to eat in the next like Four days. It's Tuesday, so you know what that means. Time to spend majority of my day out back in our cute little deck area editing last week's week in my life. I'm laying here because like what the f McDonald's what? McDonald's is twenty four hours. It is fucking in Tampa. I gotta work. We Hello have friends, it is 3 o'clock right now. I have spent the last several hours editing this week's vlog. I have about 30 minutes of footage left to get through and I've just concluded that I talk way too freaking much. But And I also just submitted some sponsored content that I shot yesterday. 
submitted my Urban, submitted some Lulus, submitted some Airy, some American Eagle. It takes quite a bit of time to piece reels together and like add the music and the text overlays and things like that. So um, I've been on my phone pretty much all day. My screen time is gonna be through the roof today, but I'm switching gears and I am doing my makeup and getting ready two instagram reels to film right now with stuff that literally just came to the door like five minutes ago um some last minute mother's day campaigns so i'm doing that and then the girls and i are finally going to take pictures in our naked cowgirl merch on the beach a little bit later and then we are going to get dressed up and take some pics in that stuff as well like a little dolled up dresses on the beach kind of moment uh, we've been shooting a ton at sunset just because it's easiest and the pictures tend to turn out really really good we are going to dinner with our neighbor blaine tonight um he is like our parents age and he has a kid my age and we've been obviously getting pretty close to him being neighbors with him and so he is leaving this week and we're leaving this week and he was like let's all go out to dinner all four of us so that's what we're doing tonight we're going to spinners which we've been wanting to try um it's right down the road so i'm really excited for that and that dinner is at eight o'clock tonight i don't think i'm gonna be able to get a blog post up today which is annoying because I usually upload blog posts every Monday and Wednesday, but I was busy being ratchet this weekend. Um, so I've been off my game and have had too many other work-related things to get to yesterday and today. So, Okay, I am doing a fun little last-minute partnership with Petal and Pop. And if you know me, then you know how much I freaking love their stuff. Um, this is like a Mother's Day campaign, so my mom helped me pick out some selects. So first thing that I got is this cute little black linen two-piece set. Sorry, this truck popped in the way. Um, okay, then I got this pink and white little seersucker dress with ruffles. Thought that would be super cute in um, one of our upcoming cities. I keep saying, oh, that would be so cute in Charleston. At this rate, I have like 74 outfits to wear in Charleston. I got this white linen double lined jumpsuit, super cute, smocked at the top with the cute little um, tie tops. I got these shorts that I thought were going to be pretty big and they ended up being kind of tiny. These are an extra small, um, cute little peach. This, these would be amazing if you can wear shorts to the office um, and you're in a business casual setting because they're a little bit longer, they're more professional, and they're like an easy breezy linen, which I like. And then I got this white tank to go with cute sweater knit. Um, my mom loved those shorts and I thought this top would be really cute with it. Then I got this dress. I've had my eye on this dress for quite some time now. They have it in a handful of colors. Fun puff sleeves. Love the light tan. And then a light purple little maxi dress. I am obsessed with this. Super cute. I might end up wearing this tonight. I'm not 100% sure yet. It looked really great with the hat. And then I did get shocker another straw bag to go with i'm obsessed with this one it's like a little clutch and then it also has a crossbody strap to it which is super fun so i know i've been sharing like a ton of selects with you guys recently by all means i don't expect you guys to be buying anything but i know a lot of you guys are looking for different things and i've been trying my best to share different price points in a variety of different styles some business casual some beach wear some day to day you know some more casual uh and kind of hit a variety of ranges pedal and pups great if you're like 20 something you know just looking for stuff that can kind of transition from occasion to occasion so i just filmed that reel and now i'm taking some photos for that it's 408 i don't know where the day has gone i've like just been running around like a chicken with my head cut off my closet is like legit ready to explode at this point um but i've got the perfect wardrobe here it's making me sad that i'm gonna have to like combine this with stuff at home because i'm realizing that with just these items i could be perfectly content maybe less is more <laughs> okay so the naked cow rolls is, is in the sky with the hats on ice cream cones gonna be a cute outfit whatever heart in the sand picture wine picnic's gonna be tomorrow um so basically everyone has to be up at 6 a.m. <laughs> yeah, well. um, okay, anything else? So none of this has, none of these concepts have to do with the Don, and we still need Don content, so. Come in, come in! Who is it? It's coming, my boy, we're having a team meeting. Huh? We're 
have a good team meeting. Oh, Look at don't our let me interrupt. I'm just no, 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 no. You're part of the team. <laughs> Come on in. Oh, fantastic. I was going to go get uh, coffee and wanted to see if you guys wanted coffee? me to bring you one. Coffee? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Naked cowgirls are on the loose, everybody. Okay, we had an original idea for this, for shooting our Naked Cowgirls merch that my mom made, but unfortunately that concept just isn't, uh, isn't the vibe anymore. So we've got another idea and it includes my car, so. Oh, chic. The way we literally just hung out of the car and drove back and forth in front of our tripod like a hundred times. I really hope that they turned out cute. I think the ones on top of the car definitely did. No, so fun. That one. I'm gonna die back here. I'm running to grab some pictures at the beach, sunset style. I'm taking some pictures for my wine collab. I got Pinot and it's actually pretty good. I ended up changing guys because my other dress was really uncomfortable when I sat down. So now I'm in one of Jewel's sets from Princess Polly. And the ladies are with us. Say hi, Blaine. Hey, hey. What's up? <laughs> are you so excited? <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm so excited. It's going to be fun. Looking forward to it. Good dinner, too. Three, three plates of grouper. Yes. And cheers to all meeting at this awesome little Airbnb. Sometimes I'm not a coconut girl and sometimes I am, so I'm excited. Mmm. Mm. It's good. I'm excited. Yeah, Blaine, I'm, I love dessert. It's like my downfall. So nice. Yeah, you have a website that says no to dessert. I really don't. <laughs> it is Wednesday morning. And it was Sam's last night sleeping here, guys. We have a collaboration mm. with the Don Cesar today. Um, so we're gonna be sleeping at the huge pink hotel that's like literally four steps away from our house. And we're really excited. Such an iconic collaboration. Um, and Sam leaves tomorrow, so. I'm so sad, guys. I love it here. I feel like I was literally here for five minutes. Like, I can't believe how many nights, like how quickly this went by. Um, Sam is not coming to Savannah or Charleston, but she will be meeting back up with us when we are in North Carolina and in Nashville, so. I have a bachelorette party at home that I have to go to, and I have like a collab at the Jersey Shore, so I'll be missing the first week of the road trip, but then I'm meeting back up with them. So, yeah. Um, Jules and I still obviously have a few more days. We had a great dinner last night. Grouper, I got grouper and coconut rice. It was really, really good. Um, and we had a fun night. So now we are having a huge content day because the girls are insisting. So we're gonna try to stockpile some real covers and shoot a bunch of outfits. As you guys know, I have a million and one <coughs> articles of clothing in this closet. So um, figured we'd try to get some pics before we roll out of here. Our first concept of the day is hot girl walk. And I want to, I'll show you once I get ready because it looks okay, scary. Look how flipping cute this combo is. My jumpsuit is from Free People Movement and then I've got on the new hokas again. I am obsessed with this. I'll leave it linked down below. It's also on my like to know it. Just got, oh my God. Just got my hair up and Sam and I are about to go on our little hot girl walk. I did do makeup beforehand because I wanna grab a picture in this set today. So you can walk over the main bridge that connects like St. Pete Beach, the island, to regular St. Pete Beach. And I've been wanting to come over here and try to take a picture. And I just took us the wrong way, but the wrong way led us to this cool little path that's underneath of the bridge which is cool and now i'm wishing i would have discovered this sooner because it's very pretty over here i'm good yeah i'm feeling all right our north star the dawn Cesar. we've got a whole pound of bacon in the house so sam and i are cooking up some this morning sam how many eggs would you like this morning three well eggs puns this was such a bad crack guys don't look at that i only have two so it's In 
in three weeks when I'm home in Maryland, I'm never gonna eat eggs, bacon, or toast again. I literally only eat it when I live alone. I'm like the type of person that like, I have to have breakfast in the morning to like get me out of bed. All fueled up, ladies. We're ready to rock and roll. We've got some errands to run this morning. First things first, we're headed to pick up our pottery and then we are making a quick return and then we are headed to the liquor store. Sam's gonna pick up some wine for a collab um, that she's gonna shoot at sunset. Ah! Okay, unfortunately, pottery can't be picked up today. It, they said that we have to wait until Friday, so I guess I'm just gonna have to hang on to Sam's pottery until Nashville. Um, but we just made our return, and now we're going to pick up the wine. Good luck, sweetie! <laughs> okay, we ran into Target really quick so that Sam could pick up some props for her little picnic shot tonight with the Ooh, wine. I shot wine yesterday, but honestly, I think I'm gonna reshoot it tonight um, just so I have a couple options. Should we just get over, instead of getting two like that, should we just get one like UK or X? What do you think, guys? <laughs> Okay, so vote pink and yellow tulips, or I think these. Are. No, you want yellow because that matches no, but your one. I like yellow because it doesn't seem as like romantic and like. Well, I think it I'm doesn't feel so frilly, I guess, for this. Like these look like very fancy flowers to be sitting on the wall. Um, while we were at Target, I saw the new Emily Henry book called Happy Place, and it's thirty percent off. Whenever you go to Target and you buy books, watch this back. If you ever go to Target and you're buying books, you need to ask them to price match it because then you get 30% off. So we've decided on these as the end game. Okay, we're stopping to fill up my gas tank, which we haven't done in like two and a half weeks. And gas is super cheap here, 329 right now. It's gone down about 40 cents since we got here. But I'm like amazed at this shell. Everything is touchscreen. It's like super new. So we'll see how much gas my car takes. But um, I'm the moving wheels here in Florida, and we haven't we haven't needed gas as much as I thought we would. We've been on the go, on our feet most of the week. Okay, we are back home, and somehow it is 12 o'clock. We just ate not that long ago, but um, I've had chicken marinating for like two days now, and it needs to be cooked. So that's what we're doing. I've got chicken with pesto, salt, pepper, and olive oil. And we're gonna throw some tomatoes and the rest of our mozzarella cheese in. This is like hands down one of my favorite meals. It's so good and it's super easy. Usually I'd make rice, but we already have white rice. So we're just throwing that on top. All right, once the chicken is like almost perfectly done, I will just go in and toss the tomatoes in, toss the mozzarella on top so that it melts. So yummy. Doesn't look good, but I promise it tastes okay, good. Okay, Sam and I are out and about. We are by the water now. It is so hot. It's gotten so much hotter the last couple of weeks. Um, so we are out at this little pathway that I tried to take a picture at the other day. They turned out cute. I just haven't gotten around to posting them yet, but we're grabbing a picture for Sam, and then we are headed to the beach for a cute reel cover. All right, we came down to the water. It was so nice out today. I'm like sad that we aren't just like sitting out here to sit out here. But I just took a super cute photo for my airy campaign that I'll leave here. And Sam and I just took a reel cover with a cute little sunscreen concept that I'll also leave here. And now I am headed back over to the house. We're gonna change. Changed into something Katie Patsuti. I love this dress. It's from American Eagle and I have the t-shirt version of it too. And it's super cute, comes in a bunch of colors. And then I put on a hat that says sunshine all the time. It is so hot out right now. Like something about this week it has just gotten drastically hotter by like 10 degrees every single day and so my hair just like needs to be in the hat at all times and then i also have on pink converse well pink socks with my white converse super cute sam and i are gonna get ice cream cones to take a pic with them so okay we're at larry's because they have the cute little yellow car the ice cream is not as good but we have a vision 
I will give Larry's credit, even though I don't like their ice cream as much, I love their seating area. It's super cute here, and they've got all kinds of signs. It's family owned, and I just, I don't know, I think it's so fun. It's so hot outside, my cone is literally dripping everywhere. I got cookies and cream today with a waffle cone, and it's so, a lily, 100 times better than the other day. Uh oh. So cute. I'm obsessed with this dress. But we are getting ready to go to the dawn now. I'm changing again. Usually I feel like I either wear a swimsuit, the same swimsuit for like four days straight, or I'm literally like wearing a different dress every five minutes. It just depends on the day. Um, I'm gonna change into this pink dress, I think, and shoot this at the dawn. And then this evening for my little picnic with Sam, I'm gonna wear this white dress which is super cute, a little bit of lace. I can't remember where this is from. I think it's from Good, no, Pink Lily. It's from Pink Lily. It's like 3.30 and we're getting ready to head over to the Don. We've got our picnic supplies all ready to go. We've got the flowers. Sam's got all of her wine that she needs to take pictures with. We got this cute little foldable tray, strawberries, grapes, cheese, and a French baguette. I am just bringing over like a small bag right now with my picnic outfit and my St. Petersburg sweatshirt in it. And then of course the famous blue salt wrap. I bring this thing literally everywhere. I got it last summer when I was interning and it's the best. It's like three yards and it works really well as beach blanket um, and just for like our picnics and things like that. Here is a little look at the outfit that I'm going to wear over to the dawn. We are going to explore the property and take some pics outside. This dress is from Vestique and I'm really, really, really loving it. Um, I thought that I originally I was going to bring this to Charleston, but I kind of think that it's going to be fun here in front of the Pink Palace. I've got on my little lace up heels from Dolce Vita. And then my hat is my like OG lack of colors hat from Lulu's. I freaking love this thing. I wear it 24 seven and it's pretty old. I've had it for a couple of years now. We've got a little bit of time to kill before. So I am posting my Instagram photo of the day, a TikTok and my trip to Costa Rica is going live, which I'm really, really excited about in two hours. So if you guys are interested in booking, I'm sure there will still be spots available i'll leave it down below we're going to the volcano we're going to the waterfalls we're going to hot springs we're going snorkeling with turtles kayaking taking beach pictures and spilling all my secrets about influencer life and you know kind of giving you guys the loop on how to take pics and things like that so if you guys are interested in that trip i will have the booking link down below but um yeah. okay we made it to the pink palace for our slumber party how cute is it We've got all the flamingos. Oh, someone commented on my YouTube video today and asked if Sam was a swinger because of Why? the pink flamingos, which I don't even remember you us like making a comment. Brains. Like, I don't know where I was with or talked about a pink flamingo or if I was wearing one or if we saw a floaty <laughs> with one. Like, I literally have no idea. But no, guys, just so you know, I'm not a Back swinger. Back of the Don is literally so pretty. We just took some pics out here. It's very Charleston-esque. A lot of Charleston properties look just like this. And you've got the beach right here. They've got their beach access. We've got the pool. There's two pools, one pool right here, another pool right here, tons of beach chairs, and then they've got two separate dining areas. So she. Okay, Sam and I are currently taking a picture through this. Our tripod's right here, and we're pretending we're vlogging, but we actually are in the clip. <laughs> okay guys, we're coming at you live from the Don Cesar. Hey. <laughs> Guys, I kind of lost my voice a little bit. I want to use this as the intro clip with the volume. Coming at you live from the Don Cesar. Back in our robe, towel head era. It's been quite a while since we've been on the hotel content grind, everybody. But uh, this is our warm up for the real deal that's beginning in just five days, four days. Oh my God, I can't believe this happening so soon again. Successful beach picnic. I did a vlog on my camera, but we got some really cute shots that uh, 
Sam accidentally bought a baguette with like cream cheese, weird butter, garlic spread on it. Um, so needless to say, we're gonna have to go home or go out to dinner, but it's beautiful. I don't know how we're ever gonna leave this place. But I guess we'll find out on Sunday. Good morning, you guys. We are back at the house and we are gonna make some breakfast this morning and then hit the beach pretty much all day. Originally, we were really hoping on being on a boat today. Um, we were gonna do that with Sam's college bestie, Aaron, but we're thinking that's probably not likely to happen um, considering it's nine o'clock in the morning and we haven't heard anything about it. So um, Sam and I are just gonna plan to hit the beach go for a walk, just hang out for the day. I probably should be working on my blog post from home with my computer, but it's her last day and I really wanna be present and enjoy um, our last couple days here. But we did have a crazy busy day yesterday. Super, super, super productive. We got so many photos shot, which was exciting. And even though we're getting down to the end of things, we're still seeing new parts of town, which is exciting, so. But yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so I'm not in a great style to reach for. And of course I ended up I'm trying to get ahead of the YouTube game. I just edited a video for Sunday and am processing that to YouTube right now. This is going to be a try on haul with 93 Play Street, which is a sustainable swimwear brand that I shared some suits from last week. Yeah, so I... Bye Blaine! Bye, baby. Safe hey, travels home! I just changed into my swimsuit for the day. This is from Airy. Super cute. It's a little cheekier in the back. My beach bag is from Airy and my Roxy flip flops that I wear pretty much 24 seven. And can't forget my water from Walmart. We just said bye to our neighbor Blaine. Uh, he is headed back home to Colorado. He's been here for the full six weeks that we've been here and seeing him leave just like kind of reiterated that we only have a few days left that our time here is coming to an end. I cannot believe how fast it has flown and I'm starting to just get really, really emotional about it. I'm sure you guys have been able to tell from my vlogs, but it has been really good for me to just sit still for a bit and to kind of have a home base again, have a closet that fits everything, to have a coffee shop that I could go to and work at, to have like a stable environment where I can kind of spread out and get back into a routine. Um, I've needed it more than I ever imagined and I am so excited for this next road trip, but I'm kind of nervous. I've been so in my element the last six weeks that it feels a little nerve wracking to kind of change things up. I know that amazing things happen when you step outside of your comfort zone. And I know that this road trip is very far out of my comfort zone and that this is very much in it. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna head to the beach. I've got a long, 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 long list of things to tackle on my phone and I wanna do it in my beach chair, so. The water's perfect today, guys. We brought every Barbie float here, minus the flamingo. It is 85 degrees and sunny in St. Petersburg, Florida. Let's go for a swim. No drop off today, which is the best part. I literally couldn't contain myself. I had to go under. What's up, guys? All right, we've been at the beach for like three hours. Four hours? I don't know. Anyways, we're back home now. And guess what? What up? I was just going to tell you we got a package, and the FedEx man is walking right to the door. Hi. That's actually my package that she's opening. It's a commute. It has my name on it. Can it, we get gray or green? I forget. What we had an, an inner battle with the crew here um, about which color we should get. Jules voted gray and Sam and I voted green, so obviously we got green. <laughs> so Whoa. cute. Look at how big that guy is. So cute. Thank you, Fat Boy Surf Club. Thank you, Fat Boy Surf Club. We love you. Look at the sweats. These are huge. What size did we get? I don't know, man. 
All right, wait. Look at how Did many I stickers they sent us. So they also sent us a bunch of stickers, and the last time we were in California, Brian Rock them. gave us a bunch of stickers, and my dad put one on his uh, car, and they look cool. Why is this? What's the logo? Manatee. Manatee. <laughs> So you had to have gotten, gotten the small. Okay, Jules and I both got the exact same package, um, type of box, and it looks like it's from the same spot, but I don't know what it is. Jules and I got our stuff from Frame. Uh, I got a pair of shorts and a pair of jeans. As if, as if I needed another pair of jeans here. Ready, Erin? Grand reveal. Shorts. I'll leave these links down below, see if they fit. I went up a size this time because I've been eating ice cream every single day and drinking too many rum runners. So I put on a few pounds living here in St. Petersburg. Hit the link. Too big, too big. Cute though. Maybe I'll give them to Sam. Then I also got these pants, which are the low rise straight lace slouch. Really cute bottoms. I hope that these Okay, it's two o'clock and we are gonna head over to Caddy's. This is a restaurant that so many people have recommended us and Sam really wanted to eat before she left. We thought about doing Chick-fil-A just for something fast and easy, but she's like, I really wanna see this before I go. So I'm just gonna drive us over there and eat a little bit later of a lunch. And then at four, Sam's gotta head over to the airport. So we've got like two hours to kill. Okay, we're at Caddy's and Steph Dirk, if you're watching this, shout out. She, she recommended this place. Um, it's really pretty over here. I wish you could get down there and take a picture. Not right now, because I look like shit, but. Anyways, we got drinks. Cheers. I got a strawberry daiquiri, and these hooligans got a bucket. That's her. <laughs> <laughs> I've been craving a cheeseburger so bad lately. I haven't had one since we moved here, so I got one today. I got the Cali burger. Sam got shrimp tacos. Aaron got group for nuggets that are fried, which is shocking. I haven't seen them like that here. They've only been blackened here. Are they good? Very. Like, flaky. Is that warm? Mm hmm. You look so girly with that sweet potato fry in here. <laughs> I love sweet potato. Lots of mail at the kitchen table. Uh, our fat boy suits, which I'm super excited about. And I promised you guys a little Revolve haul. I got quite a bit of stuff this month, which I'm super excited about. Revolve basically gifts on a merit basis. So the more sales that you make, the more items you're able to choose. So thank you guys because it is you guys shopping through my links and things like that that has made this possible and i got some stuff from some dream brands i've got some show me your moo moo free people l space brands that i'm really really excited about today so i will leave this stuff linked down below in case you guys are interested by no means do you need to purchase anything but i just wanted to show you guys what i got i have tons of clothes that have come over the last few weeks for my next few trips we're gonna have different climates, obviously, in Charleston and in South Carolina and Georgia and in Tennessee. But in June, I am planning on doing a little bit of traveling to Ocean City, Maryland, Cape May, New Jersey. Um, I'm gonna be staying with Sam for a little bit at her shore house, and then we are gonna continue on our way to hopefully the Cape Cod area and Newport, Rhode Island, possibly a little bit of Massachusetts. So a little coastal summer, which I'm really excited about. First thing that I got is this little seersucker dress. Super cute, I'm obsessed with that. And then in that same print, I also got this little romper. I love this. It's go straight back like this. So it's plunging or you can wrap it around the neck. There's so many different ways you can style rompers like these and I'm obsessed with that. And then I got this little top that I thought would be really cute with a pair of jeans and sandals for a dinner one night. I got this ivory top that is like a silky satiny and it ties in the front. I have this in another color and I really love it. Very similar in style to this pink one. Again, great option for the evening time. I got this pink dress, which I'm obsessed with. It's a little bit fancier than I thought it would be, a little more structured, so possibly gonna save this for like an event or a specialer occasion, but it's got a bubble bottom that is super fun. I got this pale yellow dress from Tularosa, and I love Tularosa stuff. I have a couple of swimsuits from them. This is like being washed out on camera, but in person, this is a very bright yellow. I don't know if you can tell, but so fun i love that and i got two things from l space i got this little olive green dress that is long sleeve and it's got a little bit of gold in it 
And then this white wrap dress. I don't exactly know what this is gonna look like on. It's kind of tiny. Um, goes like this. It's fun, cute, runs tiny. So definitely size up in that. I got two pairs of overalls. The first pair I got are from Shelby or Moo Moo and they have these huge flares to them, which I'm really excited about. I might end up wearing these in Nashville. I just feel like they're super fun and different. And then I got these white overalls that I thought could be fun for Barefoot Country Music Fest. I'm going to that in June and Darius Rucker is gonna be there, um, John Party, Riley Green, some of my other faves, so I'm really excited for that. And then I got just a couple of going out bodysuits. The first one is white, it's like a little tube top and then it attaches like this. I don't know, I'm not usually a fan of cutouts like this, but the model looked so good in it that I was like, I have to give that a try. And then I got this brown one that wraps like a gazillion ways that I don't even know how I could possibly show this to you right now, but the model looked sexy in it and I thought that it could be fun. And I really like Revolve bodysuits because all of them have thong closures, so they're really easy to get in and out of when you are changing. Oh, and I got a pair of shoes from LPA. I'm so happy about these. I am such a straw shoe lover, as you guys know, and I got this little pair of heels. I feel like I always wanna wear straw stuff for like dressier occasions too, but I don't have like a fancy shoe. All of my straw stuff is like flat sandals. So I got these, they've got a like, really baby block heel. They lace up the leg, which you guys know is my fave. So lots of goodies. Don't even ask how we are going to fit everything in the back of my car, God only knows. Um, <laughs> Thankfully, Sam is meeting us halfway through, so we won't be too squished for the first half of the trip, um, but she is meeting us halfway through in Charlotte, and I have a feeling once we get to Charlotte, things are gonna be a little snug um, back there, but oh well. We actually just ordered a couple of more Ikea bags from Amazon. That way, we could make our lives easier and pack things up in those. They stack really easily, so. Yeah. All right, ladies and gents. Samantha Souter's getting out of here. Ready to depart. We had a painful drive here, but we made it. Uh, and here's our woman being dropped off at the frontier. Uh, the frontier, baby. Frontier. Uh, I've been flying frontier so much, guys, because it's so cheap out of Philly, and everything else is literally like three hundred more dollars. So I'm like, ah, I feel like I should just take the gamble, and I keep doing it, and it's been fine. So we'll see you tonight. Fingers crossed. But All right, yeah. woman. See you in Bye. two and a half weeks. I just dropped Sam off at the airport. It was like forty-five minutes there, but only thirty minutes back. And it just got changed. Jules and I are off to Indian Rocks Beach tonight for a fun dinner club. I'm really excited. We haven't really explored this area. Um, still wearing that same tank top from Abercrombie. Shorts are from Abercrombie. And then I have on my little lace ups from Dolce Vita to kind of dress things up a little bit. Just wanted to keep things pretty casual tonight. It's dinner spot is called Sea Breeze and I'm pumped for this. Basically, we've been eating out a ton the last two weeks because I got in contact with a woman on Instagram and she happens to do the marketing for like 20 different restaurants between Clearwater, Pasta Grill, Indian Rocks Beach, and St. Pete. And she asked if we would want to come to several of them just to share like our honest thoughts in different vlogs. Like, we don't have to post anything, but I was like, sure, why not? And it's been fun to like get to see so many different places because so many of you guys have been asking for recommendations here. So that's what we're doing. How you feeling, Jules? Getting down on the last Ooh. couple. Crazy. I can't even believe it, guys. Are you sad? I am sad, but I also like am excited for the places that we're going. That's how I feel. Yeah. But I had a moment this morning where I just was like, I couldn't stop tearing up because I was like, holy shit, like this is like the end of an era. I know. And it's I know weird. we can always come back, but like I feel like life is just flying before us. Like, agree. So, anyways, <laughs> we'll go cry about it at the dinner table. Okay, of all the places that we've come, I think that this atmosphere is my favorite. I really like where we're sitting. It's quiet, it's mellow. And Jules and I have got some drinks. She got a mocktail. It's very good. And we just got a crab cake. It looks interesting. It's grilled. We'll keep you posted how it is. And the bread is amazing. Holy cow. It's like sweet bread with this nice butter. It's like coconut butter. They came around and took a picture of us too. Live taste test of Jules.
Okay, Jules and I both got grouper. She got hers on a salad. I got mine with rice, beans, and um, french fries. It's got pineapple slaw, which is my favorite, which is why I decided to get this. I'm becoming a grouper girl. I'm not usually a fish person, but I really like it, especially when it's crusted like this. So this is a coconut crust, and I'll let you know how it is. You guys want to know how I'm gaining weight, even though I'm so active? This is how. Literally, the manager of this restaurant was like not letting us leave before we tried the chocolate cake, and he was like, "All right, all right, I'll give it to you to go then." But I'm like, "Jules, we have to at least try it before we go." Wow, I'm not really a cake girl, but that's really good. You need this part. Whoa. Wow. All right, I'm giving tonight an eight out of ten. I would give the atmosphere a 10 tonight. Jules, how was your food? It was really good, eight out of 10. Solid. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, it feels so weird to have the room to myself. Those two weeks with Sam here just absolutely flew. But I'm happy to have my own bedroom again, even if it's just for two more nights. I had such a great day today. I feel like my favorite days here, I don't really vlog that much. And I think it's because my favorite days are when I'm just like in the water so much, floating around with my friends. It was so good to just like be on the Barbie float all day with Aaron and Sam. And I just didn't end up vlogging that much. But just know if there's ever a day I'm not vlogging that much, it's because I'm at the beach. And when I'm at the beach, I don't really bring my camera out that much. But I didn't end up getting any reading done today, like literally at all, zero, zilch. It's taking me so long to finish this. It's an amazing book. I could have read it in one sitting. I've just had so much going on that I haven't had the chance to be reading as much as I would like. I have been type type typing away this morning getting all of my St. Petersburg recommendations down and in one spot I'm sharing where to stay transportation where I go to the beach all of my restaurant recommendations I had like at least 10 in here um, we've been doing a lot of eating out lately my favorite ice cream spots of course I'm sharing where to go out on the beach where to go out downtown where to go out in Tampa I just kind of put all my recs in one spot and a few must do's while you're here my my favorite places to go shop things like that I'm really pleased with the way this came together it took me quite a few hours but I knew that it would be helpful for some of you guys and then of course some things to pack so love I'll have that linked down below okay I just got dressed for the day I'm wearing the same bathing suit and button-up that I was wearing yesterday the suit is from Aerie and the button-up is from American Eagle I've got my beach day essentials my little Aerie tote my tumbler from Walmart and I'm ready to get on the move First, I'm gonna make some breakfast for lunch. Then I'm gonna go pick up the pottery because I swear to God, if I forget that, I'm gonna scream. And then I'm going to hit the beach. I want to go for my hot girl walk and I've got some emails and some Instagram things to catch up. Some days eggs are gonna be better than others and I can just tell that today is gonna be one of those days that they're just better than the others. Speaking of finishing up things in our kitchen, I just took out the rest of our shrimp. Jules and I are gonna make shrimp tacos. No, Jules and I are gonna make shrimp quesadillas for dinner to get rid of our tortillas and cheese and sour cream and all that stuff. Okay, I just picked up our pottery. We went to a place called Practically Picasso like two weeks ago. We were in a tornado watch, so we were like, we need to do something inside. Here's Sam's, she did this little like rainbow vase that you can put flowers in, cute. And I did this little ring dish that is kind of irrelevant because I wanted it while we were here, but I didn't pick it up in time, so now we're about to leave, but it turned out so cute. Look at it. It's all colorful and sunny and the outside's yellow. Love. All right, I just got my beach chair and now I'm headed out. It's a late, guys. It's already two o'clock, which is about three hours later than I usually get to the beach, but it's okay because it's really, really dreary and gloomy out right now. Like look, it's like super blah out right now, but I'd rather be outside at the beach while I can. Only one more day to do it. It's so hot out today, even though the sun's not out, that I just like have to have my chair by the water with my feet in the sand. I just took a quick dip in and now I'm just hanging out, starting off with some fun work and then really, really, really want to finish this book before I leave, so. 
been reading all afternoon. All right, you guys, it's six o'clock and I'm back at the house. I got so much work done while I was sitting in my beach chair and read all but one chapter. I decided I would come back and make dinner and save the last chapter for afterwards to make me excited. So anyways, I am in the kitchen and I am making us some shrimp quesadillas. We had quite a bit of shrimp left, so I made Jules and I one for right now. I'm making us some extras for tomorrow for lunch. Used up the rest of our rice, threw the tomatoes and cilantro, lime juice in there, finished up the cheese, finished up the tortillas. No waste here. We had a ton of shrimp left, like literally like 20 something shrimp. And I was like, oh, I shouldn't have been, I shouldn't have been chintzing the last couple meals, <laughs> but they're huge shrimp. We still got some tomatoes left, Jules. It's been like 45 minutes, but I missed the beach and I'm really emotional about leaving here. And I'm like, Mackenzie, just go be there and then everything else can wait. So I'm listening to my emotions and I'm walking back for sunset. beach the sunset was so good tonight there's definitely a storm brewing I finished meet me at the lake I loved this book it was just the kind of like good easy beach read that just makes you believe in love and look around and be like oh I wish a boy would love me and want to marry me um, I really liked it I am adding this I've started packing up my books I've got three books that I haven't read here I have all the light we cannot see by Anthony Dewar um, Emily Henry's happy place which I just got I'm gonna take this one out for my next read and then I also have romantic comedy but I'm gonna save that one for when I'm home oh also Sam left me with birds of California um, she said it wasn't that good, so I'm not gonna get into that until I'm like at home, because I usually need a little extra motivation while we are gone. Sam Jules and I are gonna go get ice cream, but I'm gonna start packing up once we get back. <laughs> Jules goes, can I try the cookie batter? And I said, you're gonna get a single scoop of mint Oriel. I got it today. Um, I don't know, it just felt right since it's Jules' favorite. We thought this was gonna be our last one, but our girl isn't here, so we're thinking maybe we're gonna have to come tomorrow to say bye for real. So, Jules goes, can we go to Wings and buy a souvenir again? I want more <laughs> souvenirs. <laughs> Jules just goes, wow guys, I don't have an address to put in anymore. She's ordering a package and she's like, I don't know where to send it. Um, okay, I just body showered. I put on my Coconut Charlie's shirt. And I'm getting ready to pack. It's like, oh, we just did this. We literally just unpacked and now it's time to repack. I've got so much in my closet. It's not even funny. Like I've gotten so much stuff since we've been here and it's time to pack it all up. All right, Jules and I ordered a couple more Ikea bags because both of us have a couple more Ikea bags worth of belongings to bring home. Okay, so we're gonna see how we can do this. So this is a little bit bigger than a carry-on, and my goal is to pack everything I need for Savannah and Charleston in here. And then this stuff on this side of my closet, I'm not gonna need in either place. I've got some stuff for our trip to North Carolina in here. Um, I've got like a million shoes, all my workout wears in here. For most of these cities, I've picked out eight outfits. My goal is to shoot eight outfits in each city. We're gonna be in each city for four nights, five days. So the goal is eight outfits. Then I'm gonna bring one pajama shirt, like one like loungy thing, two workout outfits, and that's kind of how I'm gonna do it and see if that works. So yeah. Charleston, I'm pumped for. I've got a freaking badass wardrobe ready to go for Charleston. So, um, yeah, you guys are gonna have to stay tuned for all the action happening. One dress, two dress, three dress, four dress.
All right, guys, we're gonna handle some of this off camera. All right, an hour and a half later, and we've made some intense progress. I was able to fit probably like 20 something dresses in this suitcase. This is not from Samsonite. This is actually a suitcase that Marshall sent me. And I have this baby stuffed. Pretty much everything that I'm gonna need for Charleston, Savannah, and North Carolina is in here. A couple things are not, but I did good. I did well. Um, a bunch of sandals in here. I've got some shoes, some random things that I'm gonna end up bringing. My closet is fully empty. Minus my laundry. I'm gonna do one last load tomorrow morning Lots of clothes happening over here. I have two bags of stuff that Are just clothes I'm bringing home things that I either wore here or that I just received in the mail For my June trips and then this bag up here is all of my Nashville clothes my cowboy boots and Some shoes that I'm gonna end up needing that was the one thing I couldn't fit in the suitcase um, just like a bunch of shoes for some of these outfits. It's kind of nice because we have our like whole closet here essentially. Um, so we are going to be able to mix and match a little bit more than our typical trip, but this is going to be kind of the bag that I'm like living out of quote unquote for the next two and a half weeks. And then over here, I don't know how Jules and I have acquired 15 straw hats or this many shoes, but we have. Um, so we are waiting for the Ikea bags to come and then we're going to kind of have a communal shoe pile. All of these are Jules minus these two pairs of mine that I couldn't fit in that other bag. This box is full of our accessories. We've got pretty much all purses in here and some hats. And then as you can see, we have the big hat pile right here. And then in this box right here, I've got all of my books, my nail polish machine, extra hair stuff, like kind of big bottles of stuff that I had here and I'm just bringing home. Um, my extra tumblers and candle, just a couple of random things that I had um, that we're bringing home. My Easter basket that my mom so graciously gave me. We actually have quite a few snacks left, even though we've eaten quite a few snacks since we've been here, but we're bringing that with so that we have some road trip snacks. And we're making good progress. The only thing is, is that I realized I um, forgot to pack up our new St. Pete sweatshirts and the Fat Boy Surf Club stuff. So we're gonna have to find a home for that, but it's okay. Jules is in here, she's making some progress. Jules has one suitcase that, as you can tell, has like seven mountains of stuff on top of it. All of her seashell jewelry. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing a reel tomorrow, the Barbie reel. Mark so, my words. I actually have a bag of toiletries going because the one thing that I couldn't fit in that suitcase, well, besides the one thing, I couldn't fit my shoes, I couldn't fit my, <laughs> couldn't fit my toiletries. I have a lot of full size stuff here that I just like can't get around. The body glow from Kobari Jewels, obviously we need that. Oh shit. Uh, the aloe makeup remover and this humidity shield spray that I've been using. I have my retainer in and I have such a bad lisp. It's like, I'm like spinning everywhere right now. Anyways, I'm gonna have to carry that tote into all of these hotels, but oh, I'm depressed. Sad. It won't stop thundering because uh, the sky is depressed for leaving. Anyways, it's like 11.30 and I have to go to bed. I'm exhausted. So I'll see you guys in the morning for our last day in St. Pete. Good night, Jules. Good morning, guys. Happy Saturday. It is 9.23 in the morning right now. And I let myself sleep in a little bit today just because I know we've got a long, busy rest of the month ahead of us. Um, when we leave tomorrow, it will be May 14th and I will be getting home on May 31st. So we've got a hefty month coming up and just wanted to sleep in, but I just popped on my favorite workout tank from Ari, some Halara shorts, and I'm getting ready to head out for a little hot girl walk got a lot on my mind uh, you guys know me I am such an emotional person I'm not good with change or goodbyes um, and I just I feel like I need to like get it moving sit down and spill it out into the journal so that's the plan
got back from my hot girl walk. I walked three and a half miles this morning and submitted a bunch of content for upcoming partnerships. I immediately came home and put on my swimsuit, same one I've been wearing from Aerie, and I just threw in my last load of laundry. Okay, it's time to break down the Barbie floats. My goal is to bring both of these and this big one home. Eating some lunch really quick. And I'm gonna flip my laundry, download some footage, and then I'm gonna head out of here. Okay, last one, best one, crew. Let's kick it. I literally have a thousand things I should be doing, but I'm just emotional about leaving the beach, so I brought my chair out, and this is where I'll be for the next few hours. Jules has got the Barbie float. She's insisting on one more photo, and then we're getting rid of that thing and packing it up. I'm gonna finish this banana boat today. I've really liked this. It has vitamin C and B3 in it, so it doesn't dry your skin out as much as some of the others, and I'm almost done. So I have been so bad recently, and I really haven't been journaling at all. If you know me, you know that I am usually someone who journals like every couple of days, and since I've been here, I've been really bad, and I haven't sat down to write one bit. And although it feels like the weeks are just flying by, in reality, my life has been kind of mundane for the first time in a really long time. Um, and I find that in those seasons of life, I don't really write that much, but I want to talk about my trip. I want to write about these feelings that I'm having. Time for a good hair washing. The UV was crispy today, so you know the drill, lathering up, aloe in, after sun. I just washed my hair and I'm giving it one last blowout with my dry bar small round brush. I'm so excited to go home and have my shark again just because I love the volume it gives, but honestly with the humidity levels here, I'm so glad that I've had this tool because it works really well on my hair. Uh, just primed and prepped it with some Bondi Boost heat protectant and then the Wow Dream Coat, which you guys know I love. Well guys, we have a lot more stuff than we thought we did. Um, Jules has one more Ikea bag ready to come out and then we both have our carry-on suitcases too. And then I need to break down the Barbie float and put those in here. I mean, it's all good. Everything's gonna fit. It's not like we have any backseat passengers since Sam is not with us yet. I am going to try to get my nails done right now. Um, I usually do my gel at home, but it just doesn't last as long. I can get them to last like seven to 10 days before they start chipping, which is still significantly longer than a regular manicure, and I don't mind doing them, but we're about to be on the road for 18 days. We're gonna just be like, go, go, go. I don't want my nails to look like shit the whole time time so I figured I would go try to get them done there's literally one nail salon near us it's called the nail bar and Sam went the other day it was stupid expensive but I looked online and their gel manicure was $35 and that's pretty typical where I live it's 35 too so, so I'm gonna see if I can just walk in I tried to call them like five times today and no one answered so all right I just asked for white today and I like to keep them as square as possible I just got white OPI and they look so good I'm like really pleased with my nails. She did a good job, $35 plus tip. Um, she was very quiet lady, but that's okay. Um, and I'm at home at six o'clock now. The days just fly here, you guys, and I am making popcorn. You're probably like, Mackenzie, why are you not eating dinner at six o'clock? Why are you having a snack? Jules is depriving you guys. But not actually. Um, we are going to one last dinner collab tonight at a chic spot in Passy Grill, and I'm really excited about it. But we made our reservation for eight because we wanted to see the sunset first on the beach. So I can't go another two hours without eating. I'm starving. And we had some popcorn to pop, so I just popped it and I threw some M&Ms in it. Our last walk by our palace. So sad. So sad. and I are at a place called Grace tonight. I'm severely underdressed. 
uh, this is an Italian place, which I didn't know. I just assumed it was like a beachy spot because we're in Pasigro. I got so this good. drink. All their drinks are named after dogs. I got this drink. And it has, I'm like halfway through, oh my God, and I feel so, so drunk for no reason. And I was like, I'm not drinking tonight because we're driving tomorrow morning, and I have to be up early. Oh my God, is it strong? One problem with our job is alcohol is always free, and they're like, we want you to feature the cocktail. So we always end up having a cocktail, just one. Like we don't drink yeah. drink every night, but like one drink with dinner. But this drink is like Sometimes three. Drinks. I get mocktails though, guys. Don't judge. Yeah, Jules had a mocktail the other night. Anyways, uh, we got this flatbread and it looks really good. Dude, it's amazing. All right, Jules got their pesto dish. I got the rigatoni. It's been so long since I've had Italian. All right, good dinner tonight. I was a big, big fan of our flatbread. Um, chicer spot, very different vibes from some of our others, but I enjoyed it. A good final hoorah. It is 10 o'clock now and we just got back to our house. I just moved around the last of our furniture. Uh, I had moved Jules' nightstand in here. Remember I was bitching about that six weeks ago? Uh, I just moved the lamp that was originally in my room back to where it was. Um, got some things in order, packed up the rest of the car. The last things that we have to do tomorrow morning are empty the fridge and take out the trash and then we'll be good to go. We're checking out of here at nine o'clock in the morning and hitting the road for Savannah. Um, wow, guys. I just like, I, I realized, especially today, that I'm just like an emotional person, I guess I am. And it's weird because I haven't cried at all since I've been here. I'm not a big crier, but I am not good at goodbyes. I never have been, I don't think I ever will be. I know a lot of you guys have been with me in my channel throughout many different seasons of life. Perhaps you watched me move out of my college dorm, out of my sorority house, out of my first college apartment, out of my California house, out of my study abroad program, and now out of, you know, this first little season of post-grad life. And it's just a lot. Uh, I love it and I hate it at the same time. It is emotionally exhausting to leave your heart in as many places as I have been able to leave mine but it is also the greatest joy to know that there are pieces of me spread across so many different parts of this world and I feel so lucky to be able to say that um I didn't really think that this was going to be like such an emotionally heavy goodbye I kind of was just like oh I'm going to Florida for a few weeks with my friends like but uh this place has really quickly felt like home and I know deep in my heart that I will come back here. The million dollar question seems to be if I'm coming back here or if I'm gonna go back to California. And truth be told, I just don't know. Um, I feel more torn than ever right now. So many of you guys, so many of you guys have commented that I seem happier here than I ever before. And to be honest, I'm not. Um, I'm not upset by any means, but I would not say that this is like my peak happiness. I feel just as happy here as I was when I was living in California. If anything, I think when I was in California, I felt more lucky girl syndrome. Like I every day woke up and felt like the luckiest girl in the world. And here, I don't feel that way. And I think it's because during this stage of life, I wake up here and I'm like, I deserve this. You know, like, I'm not lucky to be having this, but like, this is mine because I worked hard for it and I earned it. Does that make sense? It's kind of a different feeling. And Jules being eight years older than me has said quite a few times, you know, Mackenzie, like you were just in a different season of life when you were living in California, you know, like your, your life has completely changed. Like. It's been exactly one year since you moved out of your college town. Like, of course, things are going to be different, and it's so true. To be honest, I think if I could pick an adjective to describe how I feel in Florida, it is content, comfortable, um, and that's a feeling that I haven't really felt in a really long time. I feel like I'm being constantly pushed out of my comfort zone with this career. I am always someone that knows what's next. I'm very, sh I've always been very sure of myself. I know exactly what I want and the next year, the next five years. And, and for the first time in forever, I feel like after graduation, I just haven't known that. There just hasn't been like a clear path for me. 
and I feel like I'm living month to month. It's and that's a scary thing. I'm so grateful that financially and emotionally with the people in my life, I'm not living month to month. Um, and I'm able to look at month to month living as like such a luxury to be able to kind of roll with whatever punch is thrown at me. Like if someone came up to me tomorrow and was like, you should move to Australia for the month, I'd probably be like, okay, like let me get my passport. And as I was writing in my journal today, I was like, I am so grateful for this life. It's just not at all what I pictured my life to be like at 21 years old and it's so true. And I'm grateful every day for you guys giving me the opportunity to kind of live out this dream and see if it's right for me and I feel so satisfied here. I feel super content just waking up and making breakfast and being in this routine and getting my work done and then going to the beach. But I'm worried that maybe it's too far in my comfort zone that once I settle down here, I won't ever crave to see what else is out there. I'll just be so satisfied with what is in front of me. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that either, but it's just kind of a feeling that I've been going through and trying to sort through lately. I also feel like if I come back here and sign a year lease, I just know myself and I don't, I wonder if I will ever go back to California. I, I kind of don't think I would, you know, like if I came here, I just don't really see myself living that out. And I was so happy there. And part of me does feel like I owe it to myself to go back and do it again, but I don't know, I'm just talking in circles right now, but I've cried about it a couple times today. I'm not a crier, guys. I haven't cried at all since I've been here. My life has been pretty mundane, day-to-day, -day routine. I've had so much fun. So, so, so much fun. We've drank too many rum runners. We've stayed up late. Every night has felt like a sleepover. Um, and I'm working so hard, and yet it doesn't feel like I'm working at all because I'm just so happy with what I'm doing right now. And... I recognize just like what a luxury that is, especially as I watch so many of my friends graduate from college today um, and prepare their entry to the real world. So who knows where I'll be uh, in a few months. I do know where I'll be tomorrow and that is in Savannah, Georgia. Um, we're gonna finish up this road trip and I'm gonna head home June 1st. I'm gonna be home for about a week. And then June 8th-ish, I am going to set out for some East Coast traveling, New Jersey, Maryland, Massachusetts, Rhode Island. And then I'll be coming home for the first week of July. July 5th, I am going to Cabo with my twin sister. And then from there, I am flying right to Jamaica with a brand. And then I come home for a day and then I booked a flight to go see my grandparents who live in Wisconsin. Unfortunately, my family cannot join me this year, so it'll just be me, but they are getting older and I am like, you know, if I can see the rest of the world, I can see them while I still can. So I'm going there for a week on my own, coming back for a day and then doing two weeks in the Outer Banks, my happiest place on earth. I'm so excited. Um, and then it'll be the middle of August and who knows what will be next. So tomorrow kind of feels like the start of this next three month chapter. And that's like a scary thing, time's flying, but I'm super excited. I know we're gonna have a blast. So I love you guys. Thank you for slowing down with me. I appreciate all the, all the outward love on my Florida vlogs. Um, one of the things that I've loved most about being here is getting back into the vlogging routine and schedule. And I think you guys are noticing that too. My views are a lot higher than they've been in a really long time. So hi, please stay. Um, I promise that I am going to be still in that routine. I'm just going to be exploring new cities. So if any of you guys are in those cities be sure to say hey if you see me out and about I'd love to meet you guys but yeah you're you're helping me live the dream guys and I'm grateful every day so thanks for the Florida fun I will see you in Savannah tomorrow morning love you guys hi see Pete